We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl. I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to leave They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go for a little while So be here as the night starts falling Let my fingers walk over your head We got nothing to be scared of I'd rather be with you always in your hand good morning good morning we got everybody off to school <laughs> i'm up and at it this morning i'm gonna pan some spaghetti sauce i've already shared how i make my spaghetti sauce um i'll have that video linked down below for you guys i put it on last night so that way it can cook all night and then I can get everything going and clean in my jars right now. So that way we'll be ready to go. I need to make, um, I'm gonna make Luke um, a quiche for the rest of the week so he can have some meal prep. 
and then I made me a little to-do list. I'll have to go look at it. <laughs> I just have a few things to get done in the kitchen today, so just come hang out with us. With us. With me in the kitchen today. <clears throat> if there is, um, like I said, if there's any certain recipes I've already made, I'll just have the videos linked down below. But it's just some homemaker motivation for you guys. Um, I plan on getting some bread going in the bread machine because I want to test out. Um, if they freeze, how they freeze and how they rise after they're frozen. So I'm gonna make a dough of that and get um, put into balls and get it in the freezer to see how they do for rolls. Um, and then I need to make Luke's quiche. Get the spaghetti sauce done. I wanted to do spaghetti sauce and peach uh, butter today, but I only have a limited amount of crock pots. I really need one of them big roasters. Like for real, I need a huge roaster. So that way I can put everything in one, you know? So I've had to divide up my spaghetti sauce into two different crock pots. <laughs> so that took my crock pots and there wasn't enough, I didn't have enough crock pots to even, to divide up the peach butter. So I'm just gonna do that tomorrow. So we're gonna can some spaghetti sauce today. But I made the spaghetti sauce like month or so ago and it was so so good so I was like I gotta get some more so I wasn't able to find any decent fresh um, tomatoes to make like homemade from fresh but like no nobody's tomatoes around here did good so we um I just went with canned but you gotta use what you can find you know, I say it all the time that it doesn't have to be fresh and, you know, homegrown and all that. And of course, of course we would love that. Like I would have loved been able to shop local and buy some homegrown tomatoes, but it just wasn't, they were all yucky. So we're using canned and using what we can get and what we got to still put up and provide for my family. So I'm gonna get these washed and then we will check on the spaghetti sauce and see if it's ready. If it needs a little bit longer, then I'll go ahead and just start on the quiche. <clears throat> so I don't think it's quite ready, but I am gonna go ahead and blend it up a little bit and give it a taste and see if I need to adjust the seasonings or anything but I had it on warm all night long because I was worried if it was on low that it would, you know, over, overcook it because sometimes mine cook pretty warm. And so now it's been on low for a few hours since I've been up this morning. So I'm just going to blend it up. It smells amazing. Okay, it tastes really good. Got it to the consistency that I like. So I'm gonna move it back over to the, I actually had it on the dryer. <laughs> I'm limited on plugs. Um, but I'm gonna put it back over there for about maybe an hour or so. I think it just needs a little bit extra. Um, I am gonna, I'm gonna take it over there with the lid on it, so hopefully I don't spill it. But once I get over there, I'm gonna take the lid off. That way it can kind of thicken up a little bit. Let it finish cooking for that last hour with the lid off. Let's see, Let's see if I can do this without spilling it or burning myself. Gosh, this thing is heavy. I, don't know where I just did this one over here because as you can see, it's like overflowing.
Got the canner going. It is coming back up to a boil to process those jars. So I think I got seven ready to go, and then I still have all this that's in here. But I've only got three jars left that I can sanitize and do another round. Um, I don't have any more wide mouth lids, so. If this isn't enough, which I don't think it's gonna be, I'm probably gonna do like little jars. That way I can have it just for like pizza sauce or if I just need to like dump it in, you know, add a little bit to something instead of opening up a full jar. Um, so I might get some of my jelly jars out and do some like, you know, little jars. That way I can have both. And also the quiche came out of the oven, so I kind of got distracted. <laughs> so it got a little, a little browner than I'd hoped, but part of it I got distracted trying to to do all this so it's what I get for trying to multitask <laughs> but it still looks good so I'm just gonna let it cool and then I'm actually I'm probably gonna have a piece right now because I haven't ate breakfast and then the, the rest I'll just cool it and then I'll just cut it up and we'll send it with Lou as he leaves for school okay I've got the last of the jars in the canner bring it to a boil do that process again. These are still sealing. These normally take a little bit longer to pop because they're so thick. Um, so in total, I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine big jars and three smaller jars. So that worked out perfect. But we gotta get this mess cleaned up. So let's do that. <laughs>
took me a little bit of a break and came and sat outside. It feels so good out here. Y'all, I'm so ready for fall. The leaves are starting to fall here. And it's just like, I'm getting excited. <laughs> so I came out here to sit for a little bit. I need to sweep. I already washed the dishes. So I need to do my daily sweeping. I sweep every single day, everywhere. Just because the boys track stuff in, Max and all that, I just have to. If not, it's a mess. So I need to sweep. And then I'll probably fix me something for lunch. We have leftovers, but I don't know if the boys will be home to eat that or if I need to fix me something else. Honestly, a sandwich sounds good. So, we'll see. We've got a package. An Amazon package. I don't remember what it is. I ordered a bunch of stuff, so. Oh, a new mic. I needed, um, my mic broke, so I needed to get a new mic. So that will be helpful. Y'all can hear me. And then, Decided on a sandwich. It just sounds good. Sometimes I would rather just eat a sandwich. <laughs> so it is like 12 o'clock. Got about two hours till I go get in the car line. I really need to work on YouTube for a little bit, so I think I'm gonna do that. And then um, put the bread on in the bread machine. And if I have time, I'm gonna go ahead and start the um, the peach butter since I got both crock pots clean now. I'm gonna go ahead and. 
get that on. I'm not sure if it's gonna take just the one big one, my big jack crock pot, or if it's gonna take um, the big one and the small one. I got, I got eight cans of peaches. I wasn't able to get any fresh peaches, so we're gonna use canned. Same way with the with the tomatoes. Just use what you can get. Okay, so this is lunch. I'm gonna go and eat and work on some YouTube. And then we'll come back and like I said, put the bread on and then put on the apple butter, not apple butter, the peach butter if I have time. get the peach butter started. So I'm gonna leave one can with the juice. There's a whole pit in there, look at this one. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't take the pit out of that one. That is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna take the pit now. Okay, this is the last of them. I think they're all gonna fit. Yep. That was weird how that pit was in there. I've never seen that before. Okay, I'm gonna add a cup of sugar. I'm gonna use brown sugar just because I think it's gonna make it richer. With these being canned, they're already gonna be sweeter, I feel like, and you know, where they were in syrup. So I'm not gonna add much. And then add a little bit of cinnamon. And then I'm just gonna let them cook down however long it takes. For it to be mush. So. Get this started and I should be able to can these tomorrow morning. So that'll be good. Got my bread going. I have already shared how I make my bread, so I will have that recipe and video linked down below for you guys. It is so good. Um, but now it is time to head to the pickup line and get Winston. We made it. We're in the car line. I'm like 10 minutes later than normal. <laughs> I just like to get here and sit. It just gives me time to sit and chill. Some days, like today, I'm up on my feet all day doing stuff in the kitchen and filming and everything. So it just depends day to day. So sometimes it's nice just to sit here and 
just chill, scroll through my phone or edit. <laughs> I always catch myself still working on YouTube even when I shouldn't be working on YouTube. That's the bad part about having like a work from home job is that you can't like leave work at work. You know what I mean? I'm constantly, you know, editing, filming, doing something for YouTube. <laughs> but I enjoy it. I do. I enjoy it. I love sharing my life with you guys and recipes and you know now the homemaker content and all that and I can't wait till we buy the house and uh y'all can get like you know the full house content you know homemaker content and all that I'm so so ready like I know it's gonna be a little bit still that's totally fine but I'm so so ready for just like for us to start renovating and doing things we have all kinds of plans um and of course you know I'll take y'all along on that process and you know share all the things but I'm gonna sit here chill for a little bit I really hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today seeing part of my everyday life and um, hope it gave you some inspiration and some motivation bye guys